In this problem, we're going to talk about the standard model and the important steps that led to its development. So the standard model is what we've been studying here with particle physics. It just encompasses the elementary particles and their interactions. So all those little particles like the leptons and the hadrons and the quarks and the interactions between them, the strong interaction, electromagnetism, gravitational interaction, all of that is explained by the standard model. So how did we get there? Well, to look at that, we have to go back to special relativity, which was Einstein's theory, and quantum mechanics. So at first, special relativity and quantum mechanics existed in their own worlds. Um, relativity described objects moving at high speeds and theories about light. And quantum mechanics described very tiny little things like the particles within, within the uh, atoms. And then what happened was physicists got together and realized that they could combine all the ideas from special relativity and quantum mechanics, and those became known as quantum electrodynamics. And so that combination of special relativity and quantum mechanics into quantum electrodynamics was a huge step in getting to the standard model of physics. Later, what happened, building off of that, it was discovered that electromagnetism and the weak interaction could be combined to make the electroweak interaction. And sometime after that is when the strong interaction was being studied and we got quantum chromodynamics, which involves the strong interaction and the idea of color charge uh, between gluons. And so really you had these four major steps, which was special relativity, quantum mechanics, quantum electrodynamics, and quantum chromodynamics.